I love painting outside or doing any form of artwork outside and one of my fondest memories was when my granddad commissioned me to do a painting. So I grew up near the seaside and I always had like a deep connection with the sea, uh, with like just the force of it and the energy. So I did a seascape. Um, I went down to Sandy Mouth Beach, which isn't far from us. And I just spent the whole day from literally from like the sunrise to sunset, just painting on the beach. And it was just, it was so peaceful and like the solitude. Um, I just, that, that was when I kind of really just like fell in love with artwork and the feeling of like power and like feeling connected with the environment. I've always painted when I was younger, that was kind of like my main art form when I was probably like in my teenage years. The thing that really pushed me to where I am now is um, when I started to pick it up as like um, when I went to foundation, uh, foundation in art and then like on to university and it was the, it went from kind of creating aesthetic pieces of like seascapes and then realizing that art can be so much more than that. So a way to kind of like express your thoughts and feelings or like the way that you view the world and, and then also be able to like share these with other people and offer them another perspective to the things we see every day. My work's really explorative and I work mainly on experiences, like day-to-day -day life, like the fun of things you see every day. I love being able to go outside and get my inspiration from outside and then bringing it back into the studio. I want to make work that uh, people feel a sense of imagination and curiosity and like playfulness. I like my work's very playful. In a way it's like a that's something that's always really interested me is that like how from in childhood it's kind of a way playing as a way of learning about our environment. In adulthood you kind of lose a sense of playing. Like we have spend a lot of time on our phones and on screens and you kind of forget to play and forget to have that curiosity. So that's what I gain personally from my, like making the work and offer the opportunity to be playful in the installation or with the sculpture or taking a moment to slow down and look at something nice. So the rabbit is a very common theme in my artwork as well. And I found that, it, that I always come back to it. When you see rabbits in media, and you see them like reproduced in different forms, like cartoons, like everything. They're often kind of have a cover, they can have a cute or they have a, can have a very creepy aspect. So I think that there's like, there's a lot of different aspects you can have to them. And I did a piece of like a, um, called Are You Mine? It's like a giant stuffed toy rabbit. And he's like life size, he's literally like up to here. And that was something I wanted to look into. It's kind of the like bizarreness and um, referencing children's toys and how a lot of children's toys, like stuffed toys, kind of they look that they're so far removed from like the original animal, and they're quite it's quite funny in that way to me. But also there's like kind of there's a sinister aspect as well, and it's kind of I think it's, it's something there's something I think I personally relate to them in some ways, but that's to figure out on my <laughs> on my way. <laughs> This is one, a very recent drawing I did a couple of days ago. I recently found this amazing paper store in Victoria and this is like an Indian rag and it's like the most beautiful paper ever to draw on. I love it so much. And this is with uh, like water, like watercolour pencil. So I've got like, a, it's kind of a lot of my drawings when it's like got the creatures involved kind of comes from like a very doodly, like abstract kind of process. And then from that kind of like vague doodle, I kind of can create the, the shapes and the, the faces. And I love putting together like kind of creature animals and then like human, human feet and hands, like hands are a, a very continuous motif or image in my drawings. I just think it kind of has this like interesting idea of like, I think the, the like feet are very grounding, like they're on, on the earth. And then like with the hands, I think hands is more of like a, a tool for learning. It's how like we explore the world and we like touch things and it's like the place of like intimacy. 
so sometimes like with my drawings as well there's like you kind of have like these like grappling hands and and that's almost like a kind of set like I, f I feel like it's almost like a sense of searching or um like holding on to something I always have a lot of shading in my work in the process it's like a patience and you can like feel the time taken to kind of carve out the drawing from the paper I would say the biggest challenge is often when I've like I put myself into a bit of a box or like I put pressure on myself that my work has to be like consistent or um, sellable or like particularly when you're you know you're trying to like get into try to get your work more out there and like into galleries and things and you kind of in the back of your head you're aware that like you want someone to be able to buy it and it to be like aesthetic in that way. And I think that's quite limiting sometimes with the things I actually want to do. Um, yeah, it's a bit of, I think that's like, now that I've graduated and you don't quite have the same freedom and like a huge amount of time, I try not to let that get in the way and just kind of allow myself to draw one thing, do this other thing, like just do whatever I'm feeling in that moment. So I went to a show at Tate Britain by Cornelia Parker. It's like her big exhibition. And that was just like phenomenal to me and like particularly the, the installation piece like Exploded Shed. And it was like the, I think the atmosphere and the lighting and like, like wow, I couldn't get over the feeling and like the emotions I got from it. In the same way as like her installation, when I look at like massive, those traditional massive sublime landscapes, that's what I want to create in my work is that like a presence and yeah, almost just feeling like quite confronted by something. No, it's just a painting there. It's like kind of all around you. I'm really looking forward to getting back into doing some like large scale work. Um, I really want to go and do some uh, more like immersive installations and also really push the drawing as well. Because that's something that I think I want to kind of get more of a craft with that. A friend of Philly who we studied together at university, um, we're planning a collaboration well so we're like you know using all the senses and yeah we it's kind of at the beginning stages of that now but um yeah I'm really looking forward to that and to be able to explore that and work with another person as well because sometimes when you're an artist it's just you in your space and you're working but I want to I want to yeah reach out to people I think more and like get more feedback and yeah go from there.